Gamers, there is a new way to play MathMech using the Format Skipper. Now, Format Skipper is not new to MathMech players. A lot of people play it just for the search of Parallel Exceed. But there is a new way to generate a bunch of advantage with this, and that is thanks to the Scare Claw. I love to play it. I love the Scare Claws. So anytime I get an excuse to play them, I will take it. This is a really interesting list from Noah Beagleman. Well, my list is not the same, but I learned this tech from Noah Beagleman, who almost topped a YCS using this tech. Also, huge shout out to Liz. Lithium. I'm going to actually link Lithium's video interviewing Noah Beagleman in the description of this video if you guys want to see how Noah played it because Noah was actually playing like a 60 card pile with <laughs> a bunch of interesting texts that I'm not going to be running today. I mostly just want to show you how insane Format Skipper is and Format Skipper is really really incredible with the Scareclaw engine. You can go Format Skipper and you can turn it into a light heart so that you can make a light heart using your Format as material. That way you get to search the field spell, the uh, the Scareclaw right phobia and you also obviously get to search the parallel exceed thanks to skipper then you can go into lambda and from there it just goes crazy and by the way we're playing like 12 starters well 12 access to our main starter here because we have three format skipper one uh, one for one three copies of sonic mining three copies of piri rice map and technically small world can almost be considered another copy of format skipper so so many ways to get to format skipper and this really opens up all your plays the combos you can do with justice card are absolutely incredible so without further ado let's get into it all right so first things first here let's go do a game in ranked i'm still in platinum uh, i was testing another deck and i ranked down from platinum 2 to platinum 3 after my stream today so you know it is what it is but we're gonna go first here and we're gonna try to showcase this one and uh, i think this deck is really really solid i might actually test this deck out to get to diamond because i think it's a really really cool strategy but uh yeah let's see if we can get our combo going here odds are yes because we have so many ways to get to our starter so we could either use the Piri Rise map, or we could just go sign at mining. Uh, I think I would rather go Piri Rise map in this case, actually, and just lose the life points because sign at mining might come up later in the turn. So let's go get our format skipper, and we're gonna lose 4,000 life points. It is what it is. Now we're gonna normal summon the format skipper, and we're gonna use its effect, use its effect to become a light heart. So now it's now treated as light heart so we can use it as material to summon the light heart so let's make ourselves a light heart here using our format skipper and trust me guys this this gets pretty insane okay so uh we can go chain link one a light heart effect chain link two format skipper effect to grab another copy of parallel exceed i'm doing this because i'm going to discard this copy for the sign at mining we're running three anyway so it's fine so get the shiny parallel exceed to our hand here and light heart is going to get us a reich phobia now we're going to activate Reich Phobia to search a Reichhardt. Yep. So add a Reichhardt to our hand here. Very good. Now we can special summon out the Reichhardt, which will search us a, uh, a rival. So let's get a rival here, Scareclaw Arrival. And you guys can start to see like kind of how these plays just open up, right? This is like a Monster Reborn. So, so far off of just our four mud skipper, right? We got this special summon. We got this, which is going to be two bodies. So we're basically like going plus four off of just four mud skipper. With these two cards here, we can go into Lambda and that's going to trigger our uh, Parallel Exceed effect in hand. So summon the Lambda here and Lambda will come up later. So we're going to use the shiny Parallel Exceed here. Special summon it. Yep. And we can use its effect to summon the other one from the deck here. So let's do that. Awesome. Now, uh, there's a couple ways we can go about this. Uh, we could actually go into our... If we wanted to, we could go into our math mech plays right now. There's a lot of different ways we could go about it. I think, for me, I think I kind of want to do that, actually. Yeah, we're we're going to make our uh, Alembertian right now. And uh, by the way, none of this combo locks you into Cybers. The only card that locks you in Cybers in this deck is actually the uh, Sigma. So we're not even really going to use a Sigma here. We're going to go Alembertian effect. I'm going to try to not even use the Signet Mining in my hand. Let's see how much we can play without using it. So add one Math Mech to your hand here. And uh, we're going to detach both of these. And we're going to go get a Circular. So grab a Circular. And with Circular, you're going to send Nabla to the graveyard. So activate Circular here, sending Nabla to the grave. Yeah, so Sigma is there as a last resort. You can go for like your regular Math Mech line if your opponent won't let you uh, do the crazy stuff with your... Uh, like, you know, if, basically if they negate your format skipper, you can go for regular Math Mech line. But here we can do this. Get the Nabla. Perfect. 
then circular is going to trigger. Now, normally we would search the trap here, but we don't have to because we already have it. So we can instead search a mathematic equation. Then we can go Nabla effect, tributing itself. Yep. Tribute itself here, and we can summon a diameter from the deck. So we've got everything we need here in the grave in order to go for the super factorial uh, once we use these two. And because we're not locked into cybers, we can make ourselves a copy of Psy Frame Lord Omega. So that's going to get us to search a card on end phase thanks to Lambda. So we summon Psylord Omega. And this is a psychic monster on the field. And uh, Lambda, if you guys don't know, if a psychic monster is banished from the field uh, while it's on the field, at the end phase, you'll get to add a basically an Omega or any of the uh, Psyframe hand traps to your hand. So we're going to go Psyframe Lord Omega effect here, banishing one card from our opponent's hand as well as our own card. And we're going to get to go Lambda effect to grab... Uh, at the end phase, a copy of Gamma. Now, it seems that our opponent is playing Runic. That's a little bit annoying. What we might want to do then is actually set up a IP Mascarena. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go Scareclaw Arrival. Yep. And we're going to bring back our right heart from the graveyard here. And we're going to go Mathmech Equation. Mathmech Equation. So yeah, just that hand information can also help you a lot at playing around what your opponent is doing. Doesn't really matter which one we grab here. Let's grab the uh, Nabla for this one. And we're just going to make ourselves an IP Mascarena. Make IP. Now, I'm sure I could have went even further with this combo. But um, I'm just kind of trying to showcase the deck to the best of my ability here. So here we go, IP Mascarena, and I kind of wanted to showcase the deck without using any other cards than Format Skipper. So look at my hand here. I didn't use any cards other than Format Skipper, right? We used Piri Rise to search Format Skipper, and everything else, all this entire combo with, is literally just Format Skipper. And uh, I guess I got to search the equation because I already had Super Factor. That's the only exception, really. So that just goes to show how crazy this deck is. Uh, now we can go sign at Mining, I suppose. We might as well use it right now since we know we're safe from Ash. Discard the useless Parallel Exceed in hand since it's really completely dead. And uh, I would say we would probably want to grab a Diameter for later here. So let's grab a Diameter for later. We've got the Called By. I don't know if that'll come up. But Super Factorial called by IP should be quite good against uh, this deck in particular here. So let's just go to end phase. And on end phase, we'll get to grab ourselves a Gamma. Now, definitely, I would have liked to be able to... Um, I, would, I don't know if we're going to be using Gamma, basically. Like, I wish I had the uh, spell negate in here just to be able to deal with Runic. Because that's definitely what we're playing against here. But uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. We do have the Super Factorial, which is going to probably come in clutch. But if they just like normal Amano Iwato, we're like kind of in trouble, I'm not going to lie. So let's see how it goes. Alright, they're going for Runic Destruction. Targeting, targeting Called By, that is completely fine with me. That's okay. We're cool with that. We don't really mind. So far they've used Runic Destruction. Uh, if they go, if they set up a Hugin, we could Gamma the Hugin. So if they don't have Fountain in hand, they're going to be looking in trouble. This, the fact that they started with Destruction is telling me that they don't have a Mono Iwato in hand. So this is really interesting. Uh, we're definitely going to go in solo mode and see how far we can take this combo after. But for now, I just kind of wanted to go into a game just to kind of show you what the deck can do. Definitely, this is a weird like deck to even showcase anything against because it's fucking Runic. It, it's like playing its own mini game when you're playing against Runic. Uh, excuse me? Did this guy just go Super Poly and Runic? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, they cleared our field. We'll get to Gamma. Going for Golem adding Nister. I mean, they can't attack with it. No damage for the rest of this turn. All right, that's fine. Yo, that looks so bad. Yeah, Runic Tip. Okay. To, to do what? Add one Runic card from your deck to your hand. Okay. Sounds good. No problem. I mean, if you get Fountain here, you just kind of lose, dude. Okay. Yeah, this this was ass, bro. This was ass. This player's ass. <laughs> uh, shout out Runic players, though. Shout out Runic players. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this, bro? <laughs> this is such a weird matchup to showcase the deck. Okay. So they're going for Runic Fountain. Um... Yeah, that's that's okay. Use another card. Use another card. Why don't you? Why don't you just use another card real quick? Why don't you? Let's turn this on here. 
All right, so they're gonna go for special summoning a runic, and that's when we go super factorial. So now we get to XC summon our Laplacian using three monsters in our grave, and we'll get an Omni Negate for whatever that monster is trying to do. So yeah, this is like unlosable at this point. <laughs> Well, I think that's actually a pretty good showcase of the deck. Getting that deck knowledge, which meant I set up my board accordingly. Uh, my opponent was really bad, though, to be fair. But I think the point is more so just to show you just how much advantage you could generate just off of one format skipper. I literally, like, I refused. I didn't use my sign at mining until the end of my turn because I didn't need it. Just format skipper alone did all of that work pretty much for me. So uh, really insane card. And just imagine when you pair that format skipper with some extenders. So I think there's a lot of ways that we could develop these strategies. There's a lot of different things that you could do with the deck, but I do think you guys should really look into trying out this technique because it's really, really crazy. Uh, I, I think it's really dope, honestly. Anyway, uh, maybe let's go into solo mode and do it again, see if we can come up with an even crazier board or something. Oh, and another thing I want to point out also is like, I wouldn't worry about breaking with this deck. I think it's like virtually impossible to break with this deck. You literally have 12 like access to your main starter as well as other like good starters like you could always just go circular right like worst case you've got three copies of it and it's really really solid um in this case in particular i mean we can probably just discard the nabla honestly this is like a crazy hand uh let's go for like sign up mining because we do want to get our four month skipper and i'll discard the nabla because we usually send it to the grave anyway with circular and instead we can send sigma and just not use it you don't really want to use Sigma if you don't have to. Sigma is just kind of there as like a last resort because obviously it locks you into Cybers and you're trying to not get locked into Cybers. So we're going to go Format Skipper here. And Format Skipper, of course, use its effect. We're going to turn it into a Light Heart. So now we can Special Summon Light Heart using the Format Skipper as material. Yep. Use Light Heart. Then we can trigger Lightheart Chain Link 1 and then go Format Skipper Chain Link 2, especially here. Like, we definitely want to go Format Skipper Chain Link 2 because if they were to Ash, I'd much rather they Ash my Format Skipper since we already have Exceed in hand. Uh, but yeah, that, that depends obviously on the game state if you'd rather get your Reich Phobia or your Format Skipper. So, you know, uh, do that at your own discretion. We're going to go for Reich Phobia here. Reich Phobia, and we're going to add a card to our hand here. We're going to add the Reich Heart. Perfect. Now we can special out the Reichhardt to get an Arrival. So go Reichhardt to search Arrival. And we can actually leave the Reichhardt on the field here since we drew into Acro. That's kind of nice. We can actually go Acro to make our Lambda. So make Lambda using Acro as well as Scareclaw Lightheart. Want to make sure to leave one of the arrows uh, Lambda is pointing to uh, free just so you can special your Parallel Exceed from your hand here. So we're going to special Parallel Exceed. Parallel Exceed effect here. We're going to special summon the other one out of the deck. And like there's other ways you can play this too. Um, like in this case in particular, you could actually go into your circular first to basically you could trigger your Omega and then set up a Baguska control board. So let's do that now. Let's do that this time since we had a bit more extenders. Uh, let's say like in this case, we'll send actually the well, we could even send the diameter just to be extra safe. Like, Sigma is completely useless in Grave. Yeah, let's send a diameter. That doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, let's do it. Like, let's say they had a hand trap. Well, now, like, whether they like it or not, we've got all three in the Grave, right? So then we can use two level fours to go into our Alembertian. Yep, that's it. Two level fours go into Alembertian. Then we can search out the trap with Alembertian. Yeah, so add one math mech card, detaching two. We'll search out the trap since we already have everything we need in the grave. Actually, I probably want equation. Yeah, we grab equation, bring back circular. Because equation does not negate it, right? Yeah. Actually, we're going to grab equation here. Grab equation, go nabla. Yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm still mapping it out. I'm obviously like a little bit new to the strategy too. It's very new. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to target the circular in the grave. We're going to grab the trap with circular instead. So we go for this, then we go for the second effect of Alembertian, tributing itself to bring out... Normally you would bring out Nabla to summon Diameter from the deck here, but we actually already have a Diameter in Grave, so we're just going to use it. So uh, yeah, let's get a Diameter here. Yep, and then we can trigger the Circular effect to search the trap. So let's search Super Factorial. Awesome. So we're kind of like making our opponent play a different game here. So now we can go Cyframe Lord Omega using these two. Awesome. 
We already have our trap set up. So go Cyframe Lord Omega Effect. Yeah. Then we can trigger Lambda. And... Uh, well, if you if you want to go Baguska Control here, you'll have one less body for... Like, you could either go, like, Baguska plus access to your Omega. We don't have quite enough extenders to get a Baguska as well as an IP Mascarena, which is really what I was hoping for here. So, uh, I'm actually... I'm still... I'm still... Uh, eh, I would probably go for the IP. Let's go Arrival here to get an extra body on the field. Just so that we could go into Unicorn, you know? Uh, and then we can make IP Mascarena. And we have three empty zones on the field if needed. So, like, make IP here. Three empty zones on the field if needed. Our opponent went minus one. We got to hand loop them. We got to find out what deck they were playing. We've got our Super Factorial set up fully. And, uh, yeah, we can go into Unicorn on our opponent's turn or Appaloosa if need be, etc., etc. Go to end phase here. Grab a Gamma thanks to the effect of Lambda. And we can use it on our opponent's turn also, thanks to the effect of Lambda. So I think this is really, really impressive stuff. Now, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna show you a full game against the computer here, because you already know how that goes. We can go super factorial here. Uh, we could probably close it out real quickly. Show the computer what we're made of. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, what if like the computer plays like a uh, Karibo or something, right? But yeah, overall, I just think this, this whole strategy is fucking, it's just awesome. I think that the whole idea of using Format Skipper to build that much advantage is absolutely crazy. And people are doing it right now in TCG. Again, shout out to Noah Beagleman for, uh, I don't know if you came up with the strategy or if he like just, you know, learned it and used it really well in YCS, but he almost topped uh, YCS with it. So it's definitely really impressive stuff. Good deck. Let's go to the card by card. All right. So I want to say like for the deck list here, I'm not saying I have the most like optimal version of the deck here. I don't know if my build is like the best version of the build or anything. What I do find really important though, is for you guys to test out. If you like Mathemec, test out the format skipper line. Cause it's really, really solid. So what you need for this line is three format skipper, uh, your two Reichheart, one copy of Reich phobia. And uh, that's obvious. Obviously you also need the light heart. Uh, also you'll need, uh, your three Piri rise map. If you want to play this, you might as well like optimize, just get the best chances of drawing into it. So this is a searcher for four mud. This is a good searcher for four mud. You can play the one for one as well. Uh, uh, the small world, like you can basically access your whole deck with small world in math mech. That's no secret. So overall, like you should be able to have at least like 12 accesses to your format skipper. So it should never really, like your deck should never break. And even if you technically break, you most likely have access to at least circular. Like this deck has so many different plays. It's actually amazing. Uh, other things you're going to need, uh, you really want to do the Lambda play. It's just insane, right? So I definitely recommend like doing the Lambda Omega stuff. It's it's, it's really good with the two copies of Gamma and Driver. Uh, for the ratios for other stuff, like, I'm not too sure, you know, that's up to you. Like, for the three Ash, three Maxi, one Bell, one Valor, like, that stuff is, is very, like, that's just what I wanted to do, you know, so that's up to you guys. Also, like, I don't think the Baguska is a must play. As you saw in that last replay, like, uh, I was, like, trying to make a Baguska control board, but I was, like, one extender short. As for the rest of the deck here, like, I mean, obviously... You know, you want to play three circular. You could play two circular if you want to, since it's a smaller list like that. Um, Noah was playing a 60 pile with three circular. So I guess for like smaller lists, you could play two. I honestly like having three in case they like stop your, your main stuff here. You can at least go into like your regular ass, like math mech plays and call it a day. You know, you're still going to be doing pretty good for yourself. Uh, so for that, yeah, you want to play one equation, one super factorial, definitely. Like math mech is still the backbone of your deck. Definitely play one Sigma as a worst case scenario. Uh, but Nabla, you have to play because this is actually your main like math mech combo is usually going to be using Nabla to get the diameter out of the deck so that you can go into your Cyframe Lord Omega. Uh, for the hand traps, I don't think I need to name them to you. You probably know the hand traps and uh, you can choose your own ratios for the hand traps. The only must play hand traps, I would say, are Gamma for the Omega Lambda play, right? So for the rest here, I mean, I've got one copy of Baguska. This is kind of a flex spot. If you want to replace this with Wicked, feel free to do so. Uh, we've got the Laplacian, of course, two copies of Alambertian. The one Almirage, supposedly this comes up. It has not come up for me yet, but uh, Noah was talking about how the Almirage does come up sometimes where you need it. So I'm taking his word for it, and when I need it, I'll use it, you know? <laughs> so I haven't really seen the scenario where I need Almirage just yet. Uh, we're gonna maybe it's when they negate the format skipper. You can go Almirage to just search the exceed. I'm guessing that's probably it, right? 
Uh, anyway, uh, now we've got the update jammer, of course. So if you can still go for like your access code OTK using like update jammer, splash mage, uh, transcode, and uh, talker, you know. So th that's just obvious stuff. Uh, our copy of IP and Unicorn. I don't think he was even running these. So I guess technically Unicorn IP is also flex spots. But personally, I, I would pretty much always run these, especially with a lot of Runic going around. Uh, when Runic isn't going around as much anymore, maybe you can remove these for something else. But I really don't see the point. I think these are just amazing cards. Uh, and the Appaloosa. I mean, I also like if you're playing IP, I feel like you should be playing Appaloosa against Laundries. Like you literally put up a uh, two negate Appaloosa and that can just win you the game sometimes. But anyway, that's about it for my deck and i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe we're trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the summer i don't even know what to expect anymore but i really appreciate the support huge shout out to my uct tier members that would be raptor rapture bonger man for 20 dad dude joey as well as beat ups hit or miss jt and jq the king you guys are awesome thank you so much for the support and peace